Hello, I'm Emily Spaven. Welcome to Fintech Monthly for July 2016, your monthly roundup of the top financial technology news. We're filming from Central Working's new co-working space in Paddington. In investment news, mobile first banking service Tide closed a $2 million seed round with investors including Local Globe and Passion Capital. Founded early last year by George Bevis, Tide claims to enable customers to set up a business current account in three minutes or less. Savings and investment app Moneybox received $1.75 million in a round led by Oxford Capital Partners. The news comes after the London startup, which seeks to encourage millennials to save through the use of its mobile app, raised $3 million in January. Currency transfer app Revolut landed somewhere around £6.75 million in Series A funding in a round led by Boulderton Capital. Ribbit Capital, Index Ventures, Point9 Capital, Venrex and Seedcamp also invested in the round. I asked James Brockhurst of Gowling WLG whether he thinks the currency transfer industry is currently ripe for disruption. It's become clear that the existing payment system is sometimes flawed. If we think back to 2009 when Morgan Stanley urgently needed a $9 billion cash injection uh, but couldn't receive it as it was a bank holiday in America. Or perhaps a time in 2014 when a UK CHAP system broke down for 10 hours. The commercial reality is that customers now demand real-time payments and all too often transactions are time consuming and expensive. So I'm not surprised we're seeing some disruption from the market. Blockchain technology has, uh, of course, caused some disruption, but applications like Revolut, they offer something slightly different. Uh, for them, they're looking to target commission charges uh, and poor exchange rates, things like that. Uh, but I think we need to remember that no system is perfect, and internet systems can also run into trouble. Uh, but the market will, I'm sure, welcome greater choice of payment methods. Towards the end of the month, Mastercard acquired 92.4% of payment services company Vocalink Holdings for around £700 million. Based in London, Vocalink operates key payment technology platforms on behalf of UK payment schemes. In 2015, the company reported revenues of £182 million, having processed more than 11 billion transactions. HM Treasury has announced a new fintech bridge between the UK and the Republic of Korea. The initiative is designed to help UK fintech firms expand to Korea, as well as attracting Korean fintech companies and investors to the UK. It's hoped this new fintech bridge will further encourage innovation in both nations' financial services sectors. London Fintech Week returned, bringing with it a series of conferences, workshops, hackathons, meetups and parties. Topics covered included payments, capital markets, insurance innovation, blockchain and security. At one of the events, senior Berlin politician Cornelia Itzer said more than 100 startup companies in London are looking into relocating to Germany's capital following the UK's decision to leave the EU. That's it for this episode of Fintech Monthly. For more fintech updates, check out the Tech City News website and follow us on Twitter. Thanks for watching.